In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the ice maker emitter circuit board in your Whirlpool refrigerator. The indoor ice maker is regulated by an infrared signal passed between the emitter and receiver. When the ice maker is on, the bin is low or empty, and the signal is unbroken, the ice maker will produce ice. When the ice bucket is full and the signal is broken, the ice maker halts production. If the emitter board fails, the ice maker may not make ice or continue making ice even when the bucket is full. If you need to buy a new ice maker emitter circuit board, check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the refrigerator. To remove the ice bin, open the ice bucket cover by pressing the locking tab up, then insert your fingers into the opening, pull the latch towards you, and lift up. This is how the latch works to release the ice bin. If the bucket is frozen in place, you may need to thaw before removing. Now, using a small flat blade screwdriver bit, carefully insert it between the cover and door and pry to release. Be careful as it's still connected by wires. Next, carefully disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Then, using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws and gently lift off the circuit board. When shopping for a new emitter circuit board, be sure you're searching with the model number from the tag in your appliance to make sure you get the correct part. To reinstall the circuit board, align the emitter with the hole and reinstall the two screws. To reinstall the cover, start by reconnecting the electrical connector. Then, insert the locking tabs at an angle and firmly press back in place. To install the ice bin, align the bin in the opening and set in place. It will make an audible click when locked back in place. And that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things and want to see more videos like this and these, please consider subscribing.